did a 24 hour readathon. I can't read anymore. But the book two of the thon! What do I do now? Hey, you know, I could actually help you with that. Who the heck are you? Hello, my name is Logan, and I am a readathonaholic. <laughs> That's a joke. I'm actually a professional readathoner. And those are all the trophies back there from all the readathons I've won. Uh, my dad has given me most of them, but I still won them. And those are obviously my books. Do you guys see her too? There with a bug. So my first tip is actually something you should be doing before the readathons and not during. It's something that I like to call sleep stalking. Basically what you do is stock up on your sleep. And it's totally possible. All you have to do is just sleep all the time. So you could go to sleep right now. But it's not even 10 o'clock yet. In the morning. Like I just woke up. The perfect time to go back to sleep. Before a readathon, I normally sleep about 20 hours a day, and then during the readathon, I don't sleep at all because then, if you think about it, you're really splitting that in half. So each 20 hours is like 10 there and 10 here. It works out. Plus, there's really no time to sleep during a readathon because you should be reading at all times. Which brings me to my next point. In order to have all the time in the day to read, you're going to want to meal prep so you're not wasting time cooking food. And here's some foods that I find very healthy and useful during readathons. Yeah, try it. Yeah, the popcorn kernels are my favorite too. Another tip that I have that's going to help you really be able to utilize your time is to take away all of the interwebulars. So like your phone, who needs that? Laptop, who needs that? I might have broken it. All you need is your book. And you don't take your eyes off of the book. But what if I... No, not an eye. Don't take your eyes off of it. No, don't look at them. Read the book. This is really going to work. Another really important thing while you're reading is to make sure that you are as comfortable as possible. And this is my favorite way to do it. Yeah, so you want to be as comfortable as possible. I call this next tip, thump it out. It's got a nice ring to it. During a readathon, if you find yourself not liking a book, then you should just skip it and go to the next one. Just keep reading until you find the book that you're hooked on and you can read really fast. And you can get a friend to help you hand the books over. I actually use my mom for this when she's in town. No. No. No, come on, Mom. Give me a good one. Are you kidding me? No one even likes this book. Something else that I do that really helps me is have a reward system. So like if I'm not reading a page fast enough, I'll just hold my breath until I get to the end of that page. And when I get to the end of the page, my reward is that I can start breathing again. It's also made me really good at holding my breath. Watch, watch. <sighs> Much better. And my favorite of all the tips is something that comes after a readathon. The de-stress process. Get you pumped up for the next readathon. Welcome to my humble load. So basically something like this just kind of helps me get all my toxins out and release a lot of stress. And this process will really help if you have another readathon coming up soon. Sometimes I just like to sit in here and think about books. <laughs> and finally, my last tip is to vlog. This helps you stay connected with the real world and it gives you a break, which it should be your only break. Your only break. And by vlogging, you can help other people that are struggling through the readathon too because no one is as good as I am. So I guess those are all the tips that I have and I will see you at the readathon. Oh, do I leave now? How do I do this? Just, just go down? What if I just like walk off? Does that work too? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's basically just a way for me to tell you that I'm going to be trying to do daily booktubeathon updates. And also, I kind of felt like making a video about tips for different readathons, but I wanted to do something different, so I hope you guys liked it. Okay, bye. Just so you know, I'm still gonna beat you in the readathon.
Sorry, I really like One Direction. Oh, what, my hair? No, no, it's that tight because it actually helps me stay awake. And if I'm ever feeling really stressed out, I can just pull on it. Anyway. Oh, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> I actually started reading right about the time when I started walking. And I started audiobooking way before then because that's easy. No more reading. Eyes won't work. Slumpity slump 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 slump